A brief overview of general relativity. General relativity is a scientific theory of gravity which was formulated by Albert Einstein. Before Einstein, gravity was well described by Isaac Newton, with the acceleration due to gravity being a constant 9.8 meters per second squared, or 9.8 meters per second every second, near the surface of the Earth. Newton was also aided by the work of several scientists such as Hooke and Kepler, which stated that gravity, like electromagnetism, obeyed the inverse square law. The gravitational attraction force between two point masses is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of their separation distance. The force is always attractive and acts along the line joining them. However, Newton was baffled as to what caused gravity. Einstein changed all of that with his theory of general relativity. Objects with mass will cause the fabric of space-time to bend. Objects with immense mass cause space-time to bend even more, thus increasing the gravitational force. But according to Einstein, energy and mass are related, and thus it's not 100% accurate to state that only mass warps space-time. In actuality, the stress-energy tensor is the source of gravitational fields in general relativity, not simply mass, as Newton believed. This takes energy and momentum into account in addition to mass when calculating gravity fields. For example, if we were to take a one kilogram object and then take another one kilogram object and accelerate it to 99% the speed of light, the accelerated object will curve space-time more than the stationary object. There are a few more consequences to general relativity. Light behaves differently under the influence of gravity fields. When light is sent down a gravity field, the light is blue shifted, meaning the frequency of light increases and thus is shifted towards the blue spectrum of light. When light is sent out of a gravity field, it is red shifted, meaning the frequency of light decreases and thus is shifted towards the red spectrum of light. According to Newton, if the source of a gravity field were to suddenly disappear, all objects influenced by that field, regardless of the distance, will instantaneously behave as if they were under no gravity field anymore. However, Einstein found that nothing can surpass the speed of light, and thus gravity waves are no different. In fact, it is known that gravity waves move at the speed of light. Thus, objects of sufficient distance away to a gravity source will behave as they normally do under its influence, even if the gravity source were to suddenly disappear until the gravity wave hits the object. General relativity also predicts the presence of black holes. Whenever an object mass is compressed enough, it will form a singularity. This singularity generates such a powerful gravity field that not even light can escape it. Since light cannot escape it, neither can matter. This invisible boundary in which light cannot escape is known as an event horizon. Objects can pass into the event horizon, but they will forever be trapped inside, never to return. While massive objects bend space-time dramatically, it is unclear exactly what singularities do to space-time. It is speculated by some scientists that perhaps black holes rip the fabric of space-time, opening portals to travel back in time or even to other dimensions. The true nature of what happens inside the event horizon of a black hole remains a mystery. While general relativity has given us more insight into gravity than ever before, it is still incomplete. A unified theory in which gravity is quantified still remains elusive. Scientists believe that gravity can be quantified using a hypothetical gravity particle known as a graviton. Why is it that gravity is so weak? There are four fundamental forces in the universe. The strong nuclear force, the electromagnetic force, the weak nuclear force, and the gravitational force. Out of the four forces, gravity is by far the weakest. But why is this? Some scientists believe that perhaps gravity isn't weak at all, but its particles interact not only with our universe, but with other universes, or brains, if you will. This would require unification with string theory, which demands the inclusion of several additional spatial dimensions. Six, or perhaps even eleven or more spatial dimensions, would have to be added to our traditional notion of a three-dimensional universe. But that is a whole other story. And that was a brief overview of general relativity.